Today I'm going to show you how to use the Design Studio at 1-800-BusinessCards.com. We're going to just choose a standard business card product, but this is going to apply to almost any product that you uh, choose at 1-800-BusinessCards.com. We're going to choose Browse Designs because we're going to start with one of the free templates that we offer. So you'll come to the design page, uh, the gallery page. You can choose by category or you can view all the templates. So we're going to click customize below the design and it's going to open up this particular design in the studio. Now there are a lot of features with this studio and it's hard to cover every single one but I'm going to try to breeze through them so you're a little bit more prepared when designing at 1-800 business cards. So the help button is self-explanatory. It gives some tips when you click on it. The clear all is the clear all guides. So in here you can see the guides if you click on the left or the top to set them up and bring them back and forth in case you want to line things up and now you clear them. Next and very important option is the layers panel. Here it highlights all of the different elements you have on the, the canvas and you can click on them to access it like that and they're stacked one on top of the other and this is so you can move them on top or below the different items and you can hide some with this uh, with the eye uh, click on the eyeball and uh, this text element box is where you access the particular element that you're on if it was an image element here you'd be able to access the image element it's a little bit more complex and you can play with the alignment tools and things like that but that's a little bit more complicated that you'd have to work on with a little bit of time so we're gonna hide that layers panel right now the grid button uh, sets up a grid there that makes it easier for lining things up and next to that we have the paint bucket tool this is for the background. This uh, highlighted section or darkened section is for backgrounds. So if you click on that and you color it, so here we chose a red background. The reason why you don't see it is because it's being covered by a few different layers. So let's move this element down and move this one down. This is just an image element. We're going to delete this because it's just another element. You can add any element to the canvas. But that's the background here. We're going to go back to a white background. Next to it is setting a background with, a, with an image. So here you click on upload your images. Here we have some images that we offer a few different categories. And there's a place for your images if you have images in your account. But here we're just going to add a couple of images while we're working on uh, the canvas. So I'm going to click control so I can upload more than one at a time and now I'm going to upload them. So now I'm going to, as they're uploading, I'm going to choose one of them as a, as a background just for this case. So you see how it sets it as a background and here you have the option to delete background. Okay? So n that covers the background option. Zoom in and out is pretty self-explanatory. Zoom in and zoom out. We'll keep it a little bigger there. Undo, redo. As we start to do things, those options will come available. So let's look at the image elements on the canvas here. Here you can resize them, move them around. Another important feature here is the copy and paste function. So we're going to copy this element, and what happens is it's going to paste it either on top exactly where it is or exactly where it was on the front on the back so here we pasted that same option on the back it comes in handy when you're trying to match the front and the back of the design next we feature the text tool so this brings a new text box up each time you click on it here so here's where you type in your new text as it brings up uh, the element box here, this is where you control everything. So let's, uh, let's just put in some test text. Here you can change it to different fonts. Let's just go with a different font here. Let's increase the size. And let's color it with a different color. So that gives you, you can bold, italicize, or under, underline it. You can also rotate the text if you want to do something like that, something cool. Let's set that back. Here's where you control the transparency of it. 
you can do that with images as well in case you want to fade out and these this is to align within the box and this these tools here is to align it along the canvas so that gives you an idea and text with business cards you generally have want to start with at least the size 9 Arial that's a very comfortable size you can get away with 8 when you're designing a business card and you put your text say here in the left corner or the right corner you know the name can be 10 or 12 these are basic questions that a lot of people ask but you generally want to have at least 8 preferably 9 for the smaller text on your business card next is the, one of the new features is a new text area this is in case you're creating panels so maybe you have three panels on a brochure and you want to center the text in that area so new paragraph P -graph. this is in case you uh, have a uh, uh, you know multiple panels and you want to align something here and you also want to align something there and something in the middle it's uh, it's a new feature and it's very helpful with a lot of the other larger products uh, below that is the layout you only need that if you're gonna work on a vertical card and you you're not happy with this particular style you want to work with a different uh, you know vertical instead of horizontal Another great tool is the rectangular tool. Once you click on it, you'll see the bouncing box there. You can simply create a box. Come along the right here. Let's color it. And then you can put it, a, say you wanted to color half the card. You can maybe move it over like that. And then you can come right here and send it to back so all of the text comes in front there that's a good feature if you're trying to color half of the card so the alignment tools here as well for the text the green area is the safe area and the red line is the cut line the safe area is just to keep it a little bit of difference away from the cut area because you might clip off some of your text or part of your image if you get too close to that cut line so obviously the circular tool and uh, rectangular cir uh, the rounded rectangular tool is pretty self-explanatory uh, the line tool if you hold shift and draw a line it draws a perfectly straight line and again you can turn uh, you can turn them rotate them to uh, make your design a little bit uh, you know unique things like that and just keep in mind when you have layers stacked on one another they can get in the way of each other so that's why you have to be aware of where you have uh, you know different layers and in case you want to be more specific you can open up the layers panel that is pretty much the design studio here we have the image gallery where you can add designs so let's uh, with the left hand button here you see image from gallery this is when you want to add a movable image and not set it as a background so let's just add uh, a guaranteed uh, logo here so you can maybe you're creating uh, some sort of uh, coupon or your guarantee you can control the size come back here and maybe you have a logo this can be any any image you get on your computer from uh, you know Google Images or Facebook or anywhere along the web and one other feature we do offer is Picasa and Flickr or some social sites that you might upload from and stock images they're usually around one or two dollars and they get a little bit more expensive if they're bigger images but you can just type in any search term and it's going to bring up uh, unlimited here you see 359,000 images you can just click on it and you can set it there we'll just delete it you know you can move it around you can set it as a background here are our templates if you open this up it's going to bring the different templates that we offer and you can do it by category or you can let it load all of the templates and you can just click on a template and replace whatever you have on the canvas you're working on so if you're on the back maybe you can go to one of the templates here and add it to the back in case you see another part of a design that you want on the back 
So this is the pretty much the studio, and you can design uh, whatever your imagination can bring.